everyone, and welcome back to Phoenix Ray Ace Attorney. Uh, Lot is gone. We broke her dream. She's moving back to Texas, I guess. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna give us a headache. <laughs> my bad. I, I was I was enjoying myself. Yeah. Um, Can't they see I'm busy spoiling myself? Anyways, back to the public. I just got jump scared. <laughs> I say, uh, whoop. Anyway, in the last one, we figured out that apparently Gordy is not real. It was, uh, it was the air tank that Larry owned that made the loud whoosh noise that, uh, was captured on film. And a lot of gave us some information that apparently the witness that is going to be at the trial tomorrow is just in the boat rental shop. Yeah. Just and then, you, know, the, you know, the rental shop that we thought was just abandoned this entire time. Yeah. Cause He's just been, quiet. Yeah, there's been no movement or sounds from there, so. Alright, let's go check it out. December 26th, rental boat shop. Hey Nick! This is the boat shop that Lada was talking about! You're right. There doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway! Well, yeah. Dipshit. Oh! We can move inside. Alright, do you want to move a little closer to me? You want to... You want to you oh, act like you shit. like me? Caretaker's shack. <gasps> He's got a bird! He's got bird! Oh, I'm a bird. <laughs> Meg, is that you? Eek! Hey, is that Keith with you? Yeah, what's up? My name's Keith. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up, old man? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you too bad? I've been worried sick. I like the... He, he's just wobbling. <laughs> he's an old man. Dot, dot, dot. N Nick? You handle this guy. Yeah, I think I'll leave this one to you, Maya. Meg! Y yes Finally made up your mind, have you? M my mind? You're running to pasta shop when I'm gone. P pasta? Glad I hear it, gotta hear it. I shit my pants. <laughs> You're making your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running, old man like me? Polly, the kids are home! Hello, hello! Squark! <laughs> Nick, Nick, what the fuck is that thing? A parrot. The one on the perch. Keith! Y yes? I'll leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, honey. Nick, Nick? What's the wet noodle? You don't want to know, Maya. Uh, based on the available evidence, I like to say it's the name of the, his pasta shop. Ah, oh, that's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello. Squash. Yep. <laughs> he fell asleep. Oh, I was about to, I was about to joke around and say like, oh, he fell asleep in Maya's voice, and then she actually just says it. <laughs> yeah, it's canon. I guess he's relieved. Oh. He's so sleepy. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is! Good morning! Oh. Hello? <laughs> it ignored me! It called me racial slurs! <laughs> yeah, like the parrot talks and it just says slurs and like the little- <laughs> like the penguins do in uh, that Hell of a Boss uh, short that came out. <laughs> yeah, have you seen this one, uh... This one video, this this guy, like uh, he's like working on his car, and these cops pull up, and and uh, and they're like, they're like your neighbors said uh, they they were hearing a, a woman screaming here. Oh yes, and the and, and he's like he's and he like starts laughing, and he's like he's like give me a second, I'll go bring her out, and he pulls out the fucking parrot, and the parrot's like screaming. <laughs> it's not released. It's a shirt. I love how it's just, yeah, it's slurs. just called slurs pre-order. Yeah. I, I, I love pre-ordering slurs. <laughs> yeah. It's like a DLC, you know? <laughs> Alright, you forgot me! You gotta call her name first! <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning. Maya's tired. Meg, whatever her fucking name is. Yeah, no waterfalls around. Meg, Meg and Keith. <laughs> her name! Polly, how you been? Hello, hello, Squirt. See? Neat, so the parrot's name is Polly, just like every stereotypical parrot. Yeah, yay! Parrot. The... what does that say? The erstwhile? Companion. The erstwhile companion to the boat shop keeper answers to the name Polly. Parrot adds the court record. 
I love the evidence of parrot. Yeah, that, ma- that makes it sound like we brought a whole ass bird with us. Yeah, I love I love the things that are in our that are in our court record. We have, we have a have, woman. We have a woman. We have a gun. <laughs> we have a metal, a metal detector, and, and a we parrot. have a parrot. <laughs> I'm hoping to add missile to that collection too. Yeah. Well, we can. We just gotta give out the metal detector. I, I, it's like a. Uh, it's like we have all this stuff in our bag. Have you seen? Have you seen the people that go around like New York that have like the corgis in their bag? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then they're, they're, you can just see their head poking down the bag. You ever see the ones that have like the dogs in the in the fucking stroller? Yeah. Those are so fucking stupid. Why give an animal the ability to go outside and like walk if you're just gonna put it in a fucking car seat? <laughs> I don't know, pampered pamper like, pooch. Yeah. Too bad all she can say is hello. Ha ha ha! Oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Okay. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly? Square. Hee <laughs> hee, cute! Nice, well, found a new friend. That's so fucked up, Phoenix. Oh. Looks like the kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny, it doesn't look like the type to keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. I don't. Okay. Is that a bunch of shit on the floor? That's where the parrot shits. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's a very nice table. Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. That's a great idea. Oh. We should do that at the office. You need this. We can sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa. And what? Talk about murders? Do we only have murders on our thing? Is that... Okay. Is that actually gonna hold? No. Can you just... Can you... Uh, wait, Want me to turn up the volume on it, and then you can... Is it this way? Yeah, that way. You can see on that monitor. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn the volume. And... It's at a hundred fucking percent. No way. I mean, no, we can both hear it. <laughs> yeah, and maybe our audience can hear it twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a Johnny Test whip. <laughs> Although I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn it a little yeah. bit down. We should watch Johnny Test after we're done. Oh with my this gosh, video. no! I, I, I watched. I watched this one guy that was like counting all the sound effects in one scene. It was a 50 second scene, and there was 72 sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> I want that video. <laughs> oh my lord, that was terrible. Oh, you're a party pooper, Nick. Alright, is... There's fish. Wow, there's lots of various fish of Gore Lake, aren't there? Something's fishy, Nick. I think you mean... <laughs> <laughs> All these fish are salt- saltwater fish. Oh, and the lake's... It's a it's freshwater water. Freshwater. <laughs> <laughs> I like drawing! Is that a mullet thank you? Oh, it's, it's a fishing, fishing pole. pole. It's expensive. Nice. Wow, he has a television in here, too! Yeah, you know what? That's all I need. A, a kitchen unit, a, a table, my parrot, and a fucking TV. Yeah. And saltwater fish. Yeah, and saltwater fish drawings. Can't forget about those. Look, a little safe! Hmm. It's locked. She was just gonna break into it in front of. Yeah. In front of him. I guess you want to talk to the old man. Also, those cookies on the table—they look like lava cookies from from Pokemon. Ah, well, listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolor pasta we were talking about? Our rainbow bioli. I figured it would be the last color we should use. Indigo blue. Indigo blue. That didn't seem to work this way I thought it might. What'd you fucking show him? A gun? The bullet? <laughs> Alright, I'm showing you the gun. You're gonna show him everything? Is he just gonna say the same shit? Yeah. <laughs> you are trying everything. You think- I'll, I'll stop after this one. I just wanted to see if- He'll talk. Yeah. yeah. We'll talk to him. Um. A pasta shop? Yep. To think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know, and it makes you the two, you two the third generation. Meg. Y- yes. Tomorrow we're gonna learn the secret of dough tossing. The dough tossing? You too, Keith. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? You like sit up really tall all of a sudden. And my back hurts. Oh. You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West will ever know. P- pasta wrangler? The what? The what? 
Are we in the east? Maybe it's impasto from Italy? No, we're that way. Meg! I like his animation. <laughs> I, I ought to. <laughs> yes, don't beat me up, sir. Do you know the best pasta is always made west of the Rockies? You don't, don't you know? Right, of course, everyone knows that. What the fuck are we talking Meg. about? <laughs> huh? How long do we have to keep up this all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. What the fuck is this heel witness? <laughs> Why do I feel like Polly's our actual witness? Mm. Polly's gonna be like, Squack! It wasn't Edgeworth! And we're like, <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> um, is this a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here is the place of the palace of pasta, the wet noodle. Though, now that you mention it, we haven't had any orders for, for spaghetti lately. Oh, the kids come over like, yo, yo, dude, you wanna, we wanna ride one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days, darn if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. <laughs> Nick, this isn't going anywhere. I think he's senile. Yeah, but this old man's the witness tomorrow, right? We gotta find some way of getting information out of him. What about Polly? My memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I gotta tell everything important to oh, Polly actually, here. What was I actually right? Is the fucking parrot the one that's gonna? <laughs> I ain't saying shit. Everything important? Hmm. I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? Ah, two, 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 eight. I'm oh, sorry. One, one, five, one. <laughs> the parrot doesn't know how to remember. One, two, I two, eight. I don't think it's the parrot's problem. I think it's a you problem. This parrot's smarter than you are. How about you kill yourself? <laughs> how about? Okay. <laughs> no, I need someone here. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go take out my three meter arm and I'm gonna just pull, pull <laughs> the bullet and shoot myself. Yay! All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. In a criminal mind. <laughs> Quick, Nick, write that number down. Uh, hey, don't make me get involved with your little heist schemes. Wait, is that it? Can we present him anything? Do we want to exhibit at the fucking safe? Look, a little safe, hmm. It's so, locked. You cut the fucking combination, Maya. Should we present Polly to him? Maybe right, he'll talk see. about his own birds. Let's see what happens. Nope. Do we leave? I guess we leave. <laughs> Hold up, I'm gonna spam through a couple of these just to... See if anything cool happens? Yeah. How do you feel about my metal detector? <laughs> Why do I feel like we need the fishing rod? Oh. I don't remember. Wait, I gotta show my attorney's badge Yeah. Too. Look at this bag. Oh. Oh. You actually he actually has unique dialogue oh for this God. one? Yeah. That's a lawyer's badge. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Hmm? Hey, yep. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. Oh, fuck. How did you figure that out? Nick? That was our chance to clear things up. Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. <laughs> and I'm not Meg, either. We're here investigating the murder that took place at this lake the other night. Please help us. Ah, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I hope. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. I promise to run the noodle. Okay, we promise. N Nick, are you sure about this? Yeah, you need to get this case solved. <laughs> also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? <laughs> I, I guess so. That's my boy, good for you, Keith. Wait, didn't I just say... You too, Meg! Y yes Ha <laughs> ha you bring a tear to an old man's eye, you know. Now, what is that you want to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello, hello, squire. Uh, 
Now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Oh. He fell asleep and then he wakes back up. Oh. Do we have different things we can talk to him about now? Oh. Yep, I seen this. You know something about this, sir? Keith? Yes? It's okay. You can call me Dad. <laughs> D Dad? <laughs> you know something about this? <laughs> yep, the other night, out on the lake. Yes, yes. <gasps> <laughs> I know all about it. I've seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose, since you're taking over the shop and all. Alright, does he actually have dialogue for us now? You know about Gordy? Nope! Man, you hate talking to this man. <laughs> Alright, do I show him the gun now? <laughs> do you want to see my Glock? Yeah, I'll, I'll see if he has it. Okay. Oh, yeah, what you saw. I forgot that time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Yep. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, and I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang! And it went, uh. <laughs> Yep, that's what a bang sounds like. Sounds like me going, bang. <laughs> a little while later, this boat comes back. And this young man walked uh, walked by my window here. He was muttering something with self What did he say? I should have killed that man. <laughs> yep. I forgot. <laughs> I remember tomorrow by court time. Promise. We need to know earlier than that. No oh, fuck. You know what? Uh, well, Terry was just here. Terry? Yep, the kid next door. He always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing that tailored old coat, got himself some whiskers growing out of his face. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to cut out of court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving? I think you're right. Oh wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squirt! Don't forget the L6! Squirt! <laughs> this bird. This bird knows too much. <laughs> Kill it! We're gonna, we're gonna silence this bird. Quick, pull out the Glock. Uh, huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly? Don't forget the L6! Squirt! What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister, I, I mean, dad? <laughs> This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure that out who, out who that old man is. Oh. What? You locked the door from the other side. Uh, oh. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask the type of gumshoe. Alright, I got two possible theories. Uh, I have a outlandish theory mm -hmm. and like a like probably somewhat plausible theory. Which, which one of those two would you like to hear first? The, um, the outlandish one first. Alright, my outlandish theory is that's actually Edgeworth's dad. <laughs> and, and, and his dad survived the, <laughs> the, 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 whole, the whole DL6 incident. And he's been hiding out for 15 years? Yeah. Damn. My other theory is that he's some like investigator and he's like, this is like a persona that he's like leading on. Oh, like he's in a part, but he's a, a private investigator? Yeah, and like, so he, he's like trying to, but he has like some connection to the DL6 incident and he's like trying to like figure things out about it. And, uh, and so there's, there's a chance, this isn't part of like that theory, but there's, there's a chance that. He had something to do with everything that was orchestrated here on the lake here. Mm. So. Alright, well, we need more information about DL6. We have jack shit. Yeah. What, what do you remember from DL6? 
Um, I rem I just remember that um, it was a very hard case for the police to solve, involving Edgeworth's dad being killed. Mm -hmm. Edgeworth saw it in person. Um, the lawyer who was uh, who was like uh, for the suspect, like the is, only suspect. Yes, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's the one that died here. He's the victim in our case, and that uh, that lawyer was also defending the person who uh, who was like, I guess, outed by Misty Fay, mm -hmm. and she lost like all credibility. Like the yeah, Misty Fay. She was banished from her fucking uh, village. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about what, parents. What do, you, what do you want me to show him? Oh no, I just wanted you to look at Misty because I didn't want you to forget about that. That's all. Yeah. Okay. She's very important. <laughs> I, could, I could tell you that. Oh. I just wanted to check and make sure there wasn't anything there. The lot is packing up. You ruined her dreams. Yeah, deserved. <laughs> so, what do you mean deserved? <laughs> Look at the blue badge in the background. Can't wait for that to be like a thing later on. <laughs> hey, pal. Long time no see. Oh, thank God you speak normal. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Oh, oh tell me about it, Gum <laughs> fucking Gumshu. Actually, I wanted to ask you about something. Yeah? Look at my eyebrows. <laughs> you like how they wiggle. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you want me to show you this gun, Gumshu? <laughs> Maybe you should tell me why Mr. Edward's prints were on the weapon, pal. Huh? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> oh, yeah, we, 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 I'm gonna show him the bird. What's that? A parrot? <laughs> <laughs> An old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. Pear knew about that incident. That incident? DL6. What? what? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Quack! Don't forget DL6! Quack! Huh? <laughs> he said what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but uh, how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? N Nick, you think he might be? I don't know. I'm just a fucking lawyer, dog. <laughs> Do we get to talk to Gumshu now? Or... Oh, wait. Is, is that old man the suspect? Hmm. That, w that would be a more plausible theory than what I was thinking of. Because I was like, I'm like trying to connect the dots here of like, who this guy would be in the whole spiel of the, mm -hmm. of that. And the only person that is like a, a like potential suspect that, uh, that like we've seen out of characters here, um, uh, that like hasn't been already like accounted for in that situation, it was, is that old guy. So I think, so me thinks he is, uh, he's the suspect that got off. Well, why don't we talk to Gumshoe about what the fuck DL6 is all about? Yeah. Mm. You know that boat rental shop down at Gore Lake? Oh, yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Uh huh? How'd you. Mm -hmm. That was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided at first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. Yeah, no shit. He identified as Keith, or his son, and made us run wet noodle. <laughs> yeah. That's why we called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Maybe that. Maybe my theory's thrown out then, if, if they have no idea. Unless he's just, like, in hiding. But, uh, and, like, he, like, disguised himself or something. Mm. But... Hmm. Oh, wait. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds suspicious. Hmm. Alright, Gumshoe. Teddy Gumshoe, please help us. Uh huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That's, that's when Edward's dad died. I can't help but to think that's. that's something to. I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. 
And tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, so I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. Oh, what the f What? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, <clears throat> well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. Well, well, what, if, what, if he, what if he just did the thing where he's like, he like, he like puts the file down, and he's like, he's like, he's like, I'm gonna let I'm, him go to the bathroom real like, quick. <laughs> he's like, he's like, ah, oh, I, I'm gonna read this DL6 incident file when I get back from my break. I hope no one looks at it while I'm oh gone. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. That, that, that's what we just fucking said, Gumshoe. Oh, I think you're supposed to talk to him first and then show him the parrot. Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the, like, the parrot was like, all right, don't forget DL6. So that, that makes it involve, oh my god, we did this in the wrong order. I, I keep forgetting you're supposed to talk to them and then show them stuff. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm like, like, I'm like, Gumshoe, look at this parrot. <laughs> yeah, and you're, and you're like, yeah, it said DL6. He's like, what? <laughs> He's like, what? That that canonically doesn't make sense as of right now. Yeah. We will get back to that later. <laughs> <laughs> Through there is the station's records room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. Thanks, Gumshoe. All right, way to go, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, Nick, to the records room. <laughs> it's time that we face Edward's past. We still haven't talked to Edward. I'm realizing. The only time we've been in the detention center is see Maya. I don't care who you are, no one can tell me that that's Mr. Edgeworth. I mean, come on, he is not as handsome. Yeah, exactly, he's bald. <laughs> but Edgeworth was admitted to being in there. Then he's the one being shot, then. He seemed fine in court today. Details, pal, details. Whose side are you on, anyway? What I'm saying is that we gotta respect the evidence. Alright, you ready to see what the the thing looks like? Wow, it's like the one I asked for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I hope that that I that I have coitus with a with a hot female detective in here. Huh? <laughs> you know, like, dude, have you ever seen in any of any shows where like, like the like two detectives will like go in here to like do the, do the do the nasty? I've seen that in like the like those medical ones or like the like the hospital ones, or, like. Like like Gay's Anatomy. Yeah, you mean Grey's Anatomy? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Wow! It's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find the DL6 stuff quick! I hope this shit's organized. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, both me and Ezra were nine years old. We were almost through first- oh, sorry, fourth grade, when you suddenly transferred. Because of DL6? Nick, I found out where the file is! Oh, thank god. They did organize this. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I just fucking read it myself. I'll go get the right file. Oh, okay. So it's like an. Oh. Uh... I'm showing it's her. Dusty in her here. Mom. Yeah, you want to talk about your dead mom? All right. First, we have to get the handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary. Summary. Found it. Here you go. December twenty eighth, two thousand one. That's exactly 15 years ago, from the day after tomorrow. Yeah, so Wait. three days, the statute of limitations run out. Wait, so did it say 2001? Yeah, 2001. So that's... So it's 2016 when this takes place? Yeah. Wasn't this game made, like, a long time before that? This was made in 2001, actually. Oh. <laughs> and everyone's still using flip phones. <laughs> yeah. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district a courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. that day. Part of the courtroom building collapsed and all the lights went out. They're shaking the screen to emulate when an earthquake was. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours to get them rescued. Five hours? That would be scary like that, in the dark. There was lack of oxygen in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. 
The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was the one of the other was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Do you have the data on the victim? Uh Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were alive today, he'd be 50. He had lost that, that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father? Yeah. From the angle of the bullet and the other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. Pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh, it sounds like it's this current case. What's going on here? You know, um in in the show that I was watching, Monster, mm -hmm. they make a they make a fair point with um with one of the there's like a guy who's like instructing people on how to shoot guns. Yeah. And he says if you're going to be shooting guns like at someone or something that you're trying to kill, then you should shoot at least two shots because uh, shooting more than one shot increases your chances of killing whatever you're shooting yeah. by like, it's like, I, I can't remember the number he said, but it's like, it's it increases like the chance of, yeah. yeah, it's multiple times over. Yeah, that way if you miss the first time, at least the second time will hit him. Yeah, and oftentimes one one wound is not enough to. Yeah, it's not fatal enough unless you hit like the heart. Yeah. Or, like hit like a good like a lungs where it starts filling up with blood. Yeah. Or at the head. The head is an easy way of killing. Anyway, uh, you got any <laughs> data on the suspect in there? Hmm, that would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Yeah, I guess. Hold on, this is it. The man arrested in the suspects of the DL6 incident was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk and. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. What the fuck does a clerk do? So he must have been the third person elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. Hmm. My my idea of that one, that old dude doing the suspect is like increasing because it makes me think that this was him, um, and that's why he would be able to recognize like the badge it was because he was a clerk in the. In the court. Yeah. So he he know. Probably have to deal with a lot of lawyers. Yeah. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived so much that he had brain damage. Yeah, this is making a lot of sense. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm, where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? It may be closer than we think. Yeah, I wonder. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? File in the DL6 incident, the case file. Alright. Right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now, all that's left is tomorrow's trial. I wonder how Dad will find testifying court. Wait, is it a two What? <laughs> We're at 34 minutes! Can we edge the court a little bit? <laughs> yeah, we, we can do a little bit of the court. Yeah. Get it to a nice 40 minutes. <laughs> or like, 45. <laughs> yeah. How are you liking this case so far? It's pretty interesting. I'm glad we got that background. I thought that they were going to expand like a lot more on it. I was like, holy shit, this is going to take forever. But I'm it's glad just I'm... enough. Is there a spoof feeding you it a little bit at a time? Yeah. Because uh, the DL6 is a big incident, and it's very popular in the Ace Attorney fandom for a reason. Yeah. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, fuck, I'm not ready. <laughs> very well. Apparently the prosecution is also ready. Who's the, who the judge here, anyway? 
Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Or, very well, no opening statements, so guilty. <laughs> Not so fast, Judge. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. You've been doing it. Adds it adds to dramatic effect. You've been doing this this whole time! <laughs> All right, uh, of course. A prediction. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Okay, that's not an opening statement, dipshit. <laughs> order, order. Mr. Von Karma, what is the meaning of your statement just now? Is he like that all the time, or is it just because he, we're us? <laughs> Hell no. Probably, he's probably just him all the time. Yeah, he is him. Like, look at him gripping his, he's freaking gripping his, his suit. I don't think I can... Oh yeah, I can, I can grip But that's a suit. This is like a t-shirt that I'm gripping onto. Yeah. It, this is more flexible fabric. I, I want to know, what is his suit made of that he can just go... <laughs> Probably polyester. Yeah. Uh, must you question everything? It'll be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. I'll call my witness now. But right. I call my witness, my decisive witness to the stand. It's that mysterious boat shopkeeper. Also, what the fuck is his name? He's just called Caretaker. Witness, state your profession. Ah, I own a pasta shop called the White Noodle. Ah, <laughs> I'm uh, in the the, the the predecessor of the restaurant, the White Noodle, at the, at the Gore Lake. I also rent boats. The night of the incident, you were in the boat rental shop, correct? Also, are we not going to object that he didn't say his name for the record? Ah, <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, yeah, that was. Please testify. Wait a second. We still haven't heard wh who this old guy is. Yeah, fucking reason you got it on that shit for the record. <laughs> Wait a minute. The witness hasn't said his name yet. Blood. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Uh, that's not necessary. I have predicted this trial end in three minutes. Your objection just made it four, you fucking cock. <laughs> this entire conversation is taking us a minute. <laughs> Shake my head, wipe my finger, <laughs> stare at you. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Creepy smile. <laughs> Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. Yeah, right. The witness will state his name. Yeah, the... What's your name, sir? Ah! Ah, well, uh, uh... I'm not really sure. What do you mean? My, uh, memory. Your Honor, the witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. Oh, you a reliable fucking witness! There you go, he cannot recall his own name. Yeah. Hmm, so he can't recall, you said. Uh, this motherfucker fell asleep! <laughs> Yo, wake up, bitch! <laughs> yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can testify. This is bullshit. Very well. Let's hear his testimony then, shall we? Witness. The night of the murder. It was the night of the 24th, just after midnight. You. <sighs> I was in the restaurant where I uh, rent boats as usual. <sighs> then I heard a bang. Yep. I thought that was the whole testimony. I was like, what the fuck? Then I went out the window and I saw this boat just a floating in the lake. Then I heard another bang. Just about then when the boat came back to shore and a man walked through my window. Walked through it, and that's what I said. Dipshit. <laughs> Hmm, very well. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. Is this an objection? <laughs> Wipe my finger. There is nothing to question in my witness's testimony. You're so handsy, dipshit. Ergo, no need for cross-examination. Besides, there are only ten seconds left before our three minutes are up. Oh my god, dipshit. Judge, your verdict now. Er, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Wright? I'm fucking cross-examine. <laughs> What are you saying? Of course I'll cross-examine the witness. Mm, very well, you may begin. <laughs> me, me when I just busted the fat. <laughs> <laughs> also, why is he so pissed off? You got somewhere to be? You got a dentist appointment? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Mr. Von Karma? Three minutes just passed. 
I was edging that entire time. Yeah, that was my break point. <laughs> I see. Well then, let's just take our time. You may cross-examine the witness. Night of the murder. I feel like if I press any of this, he's just gonna be like, <laughs> no, I, don't I don't remember. It was three. He literally just said, like, it was, it was three days ago. You should remember everything. So. Just after midnight, you say? Yep, just around that. Are you sure? Pretty sure, yep. When I talked to you yesterday, you were rather vague about the time. I'm surprised you seem so sure about it today. I asked him, and he remembered. Isn't that right? Don't burn me like that. I, uh, I remembered it clearly. I didn't know. Uh, yep. You see? Continue. I was in the restaurant where I uh, run boats, as usual. Hold it. Hold it! Was there someone there that can verify that? Well, I guess probably would. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fucking long and my bad. <laughs> that's not good enough for the court of law. Mr. Wright, exactly what's not good enough? Um, Your Honor, this Polly is a parrot. A, a parrot? Don't be so hard on the girl, Keith the boy! <laughs> Keith? The prosecution concedes that we cannot prove the witness was in the shop. Witness, please continue. And I heard a bang. Uh, yep. And where did the bang seem to come from? <laughs> from the lake, I figured. Are you certain? Uh, yep. Good. Continue. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just floating on the lake. Was there someone on the boat? Yeah, it was pretty far away then. I couldn't see it clearly. But I figured it was two men out there. Yep. But you couldn't see them clearly. Yep, at the time it was. At the time? Then I heard another bang. So you heard two gunshots total? Yep. That's what Lana said in her testimony yesterday. It was about when the boat came back to shore and a man came walking by my window. By your window? Yep, by my window. Right outside the window of my little shack. Uh, did you see that man's face? Yeah, well, the fire was pretty darn thick, but it was right there in front of me, I saw him. This is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. Yeah, dipshit. Tisk, tisk, tisk. What? I have a bad feeling about this. That man was the defendant. He was saying, I can't believe he's dead. Uh, are you sure? Uh oh. Dead? <laughs> They're in certain case. Yes, he said, I can't believe he's dead as he was walking by too. Look at my shorts. <laughs> Witness, are you sure that the person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? I saw him at Edgeworth Ball. <laughs> Is the witness dead? Since the witness has died. <laughs> Guilty. I declare a mistrial. Yeah. This sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. Oh, karma. You lured me into cross-examining so you could set me up for a fall. Tisk tisk tisk. Nick, I don't like the way things are going here. Yeah, you think I do? Everyone in the courtroom staring at us. I better act fast or this trial is going to be over. Objection. Are we streaming at mine? <laughs> Your Honor, we have proved in yesterday's trial that it could not have been Edward that fired that gun. Mr. Wright, are you referring to the fingerprints from Edward's right hand found on the ground? Oh, uh, yeah. And the photograph showing a man firing with his left hand? Exactly. Because you just gonna be like, well, what if he switched hands? Yeah. That is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints after he fired. What? You are ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. 
Hmm. The judge is lost in thought. What do I do? Objection. Your Honor, this witness claims that Edward said, I can't believe he's dead. But his word is all that we have. If we're... If he were to tell a lie... Mr. Wright, in a court of law, the evidence tells all. Apparently you have yet to realize even this basic fact. And you have to realize the fact that you get no bitches. If you say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. Fuck, I don't got proof. <laughs> Nick, do we have evidence? It's not good. There's nothing I can do. Uh, are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. Please! Can you hear me, sis? Please! We need your help! Nick needs you! Tisk, tisk, tisk. Three minutes was perhaps too high an expectation. However, fifteen minutes isn't bad. This must be a new record. Oh, fuck you, dipshit. Enough! The witness may leave the stand. Oh, he's sleeping. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. What? Nor is there any need for more time to defend or to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. What? No! Hmm. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Wiles, after th OBJECTION! The accused will surrender to the court immediately, to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. Did we lose? Did we actually just lose? That to you, I think. Who was that just now? Me. Huh? What? <laughs> Larry. <laughs> I I thought it was him, but I was like, I was like, I don't want to sound stupid. <laughs> what What are you doing here? L listen, you, you got listen to me. I I was I was there in the park the night of the murder. I wasn't sure about it until just yesterday. But today I remembered it. Remembered what? The gunshot. I heard it too. <gasps> oh, order. What is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided. I call for adjournment. One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, I did. A gunshot that night. I was sitting here in the audience listening to the testimony. Then I realized, something he said was different from what I remember. Anyhow, I can't just sit here and let you call Edgy a murderer. It's, it's just not right. I'll testify. Let me testify. Order, order. Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. I'm not quite sure how to proceed. Judge, you've already given your decision. The trial is over. Nick! This is it! Larry's giving us one uh, final chance at this! She's right. If only it wasn't Larry! <laughs> he could make things even worse. Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick! It doesn't get any worse! Yeah, I guess you're right. You're right! Okay. Your Honor, if there is another witness, it is our duty to hear him speak. Right here, right now. A waste of time. The verdict cannot be overturned. Hmm. <laughs> Allow me to speak my opinion. In all court proceedings, it is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. What? What is this? I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. Let's go! <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, I order you to call this new witness to testify. Now! What? Haha, <laughs> bitch! The court will adjourn for a five minute recess. After that, we will hear this new witness. Yeah, I love Larry. <laughs> Court is adjourned. <sighs> Gotta love Larry. <laughs> Phew! Well. Yeah, that looks about right. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we should. Uh, before we get into fucking Larry's testimony. Yeah, we should call it before we talk to Larry about like. His whole deal with this, we're gonna be like, Larry, what the, what the fuck? I mean, thanks, but what yeah. the? Yeah, I don't even think we have to talk to him. He's he's with Von Karma right now. I guess so. Because yeah. technically, the prosecutors do all the witness shit, so. Yeah, but this is interesting. I'm very curious what 
what Larry saw. I wonder what the difference is. My opinion is it's going to be something, like he said something with the gunshots. Yeah. I think it's the number because there's it's been misleading about the numbers. It's, yeah, Lada they, said two. This guy said two. What did Larry hear? Yeah, because the gun was fired three times. The dude was only shot once. Yeah. So there's there's something going on here. So uh, I'm very curious about about this. Maybe maybe he was messing with the. Maybe he was messing with an air compressor at that time or something? Well, remember he said he was trying to find the the air tank that flew into the lake at that time. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe he found it and maybe that, like, that's what made the bang and then, like, it, he couldn't find it again. He had to, like, keep going for it. I don't, I don't know. So I feel like, I feel like there was only the one gunshot mm -hmm. and then, uh, and then Larry probably, like, looked over and saw, like, what was happening at the mm -hmm. time. But he was like so scatterbrained looking for an air tank that he just didn't didn't bother saying anything. But uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm not quite sure where Larry's gonna go with it. I know I know there's some contradiction with the with the number of shots. That's that's what I, that's my thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm curious what he's gonna say. So hopefully he can bail us out of this one. Yeah. Hopefully. But, but yeah. Uh, I guess I'll draw more conclusions in the next one when we have more information, because as of right now, I am kind of all over the place. Yeah. But, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah. Until next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.